Hey, welcome back to Styrene Relics. I've got some shop cards and Christmas cards i got to show you. This one here is from Phil. and uh, He's from uh, Horton's Hot Rod Shop. Uh, thank you, Phil and Gail. You guys uh, appreciate you very, very much. Um, Phil and I work together, and uh, he's been a, a real blessing for me. Pulls me out of some bad slumps sometimes and gives me some pep talks and kicks in the butts when I need them. <laughs> Appreciate it, Phil. Uh, next card I got is from, uh, from old Tom Rambler 69. Uh, great Christmas card. Love that truck. And, uh, he gave me a shop card and a, a sticker and, uh, I'll, I'll get those put up here right away. I do appreciate it. If you guys haven't been over these guys' channels, uh, man, you got to get over there. I'm, I'm sure everybody has, but, uh, boy, if you haven't, Cool places to be. Uh, let me see. Quick update. My Fat Fenders Fins and Chrome. Uh, it's coming along pretty good. Uh, this is my first time at wet sanding. <laughs> or color sanding, I guess I should say. And I got a Gracie here. There we go. Well, guys, that drives me crazy. My big girl, I tell you. Anyway, uh, that's what I got going on right now. Um, I've got the uh, chassis pretty much done. Um, I'm kicking around the idea of uh, putting brake lines on it. I haven't decided just yet. But I did do... Uh, some painting in here, um, turned out pretty good, um, not my best work, but it's, it it's, it's okay, I think, so I gotta get the, uh, bare metal foil around the, uh, head, or windshield and wiper blades, I did the bare metal foil, let me see if I can get the light over here, on the running boards, I got those done up, and I will be putting the side pipes on it. So uh, I forgot to take that mold line out. But uh, side pipe will hold, cover that up. So we're doing good there. Um, I was going to put the pleats on the firewall. And I've opted not to do that. Uh, mostly because it's a tight fit with the engine in there uh and i don't have a whole lot of room so anyways i got the engine all put together and now i'm tearing it apart again so i've decided to get my tiny drills out and i come up with my drill bit and uh 28 gauge wire i think it's 28 yeah 28 gauge wire Got that over at Hobby Lobby a while back. And uh, so, yeah, I got that. Been drilling out my carbs. If I get them in focus, maybe not. Anyways. And then I had to cut my velocity stacks down yet again. Uh, because with the engine in, uh, it was hitting up here in the front. The back was fine, but it was hitting up here in the front. So, can't have that because it uh, holds the hood up. So, I'm cutting these down again. Uh, the velocity stacks was an afterthought, and wiring is now an afterthought. So, <laughs> it's just, you know, I need to think these things out before I decide I'm going to do them. Uh, in trying to fix some repairs, I goofed up my oil pan on the other one. But, hey, I've got several of these kits, so I'm good there. Uh, I came across an idea, and I'll, I'll throw this out at you guys. Uh, these are, I got these on eBay. Uh, they're knife stand, and uh, if you want to display your knives, uh, I've got some buck knives I always used to collect, and uh, some old ones, and uh, so I, I had these kicking around, and it works great. I mean, uh, 
I, I like it. It's clean. Uh, they're clear. Uh, I don't remember how much I paid for them because I bought these many years ago, but I did get them on eBay. And uh, I think they came in like a six pack or something. So they weren't very much money. So anyways, uh, that's all I got for you is right now. Just a quick and dirty update. And uh, I guess, yep, that's it. I will talk to you guys later. Um, I'll give you another update. Probably going to try and get something done on my uh, Forgotten Fridays. I haven't done anything on that yet. So talk at you later, and we'll see you. Bye.